Alrighty guys, I know you guys have been waiting for this for a very, very, very long time and I've just can't been putting it off, honestly. Uh, I don't really have a lot of time, as you guys know, but here is the Highlight Hall dorm tour. I'm currently filming this on March 6th at like 8 o'clock at night and it is currently raining and snowing outside. So obviously not the best time to be uh, filming as far as uh, light goes, so I have the big main light on here and then as well as you know lamps various lamps around the dorm so i do apologize for the bad lighting so that being said you guys have seen you know the main setup general idea of the dorm but just not you know the entirety of the dorm in detail itself so i had to wait till my roommate wasn't here just because you know that'd be hella cringe if i just like it was filming this video while he was here so he's actually gone for the weekend so i figured i'd take this time to actually film it so here's his setup i'm mean, obviously not going to get too deep into his um he just has room for his laptop and stuff there then he has the xbox hooked up to here nintendo switch chair the dorm gave him homework homework etc and he actually has this whole desk here and the bottom bunk normally normally in highlight there's enough room for a bed there and a bed there. You don't have to bunk them. But we got the one, there's literally one, there's four rooms on the entirety of each floor that has this huge cement pillar in it that goes from top to bottom, literally all the way from the top of the building all the way down to the bottom. If you guys do not know, I'm on the fifth floor. Um, but yeah, so we were lucky enough to literally get the one cement pillar for this entirety of the side of the floor. So we had to bunk and now like that sucks in general bunking But honestly, it saves a lot of room and like makes this space look a lot bigger than it really is So like here's his parts for his old bed back here I just have you know like uh, my fan and stuff back there uh, and then here's my little nightstand where I put my glasses and phone while I sleep uh, So yeah, here's his bed. Here's you know my bed. Obviously I clean it up a little bit It normally doesn't look like this all the time. Uh, we have a nice rug here Definitely recommend if you guys are getting a dorm, no matter where, Bozeman, Highlight, whatever, any college, definitely recommend getting a nice rug for your floor. This one's a flatter one, just because I knew we had rolly chairs and stuff, so I, that was why I purposely got that. But if you're not going to have any rolly chairs, get one of those like really shaggy ones. Trust me, life savior. Then here's just like a little step stool I have to get up there, and then as well as, you know, it comes with like ladders, obviously, to get up there. Here's just a nice lamp, and then we have kind of cleaning stuff, so like a broom vacuum we have a big box fan for the summer here is our fridge and microwave combo which we rented from uh the campus actually saves a lot of uh effort on bringing that up and down the stairs and then uh i am actually an architecture major here at montana state university and so there's going to be lots of arts and crafts stuff around the room so as you can see here's a bunch of wood for one of my projects I have to do and so like you know I have a bunch of paintings of my old projects and stuff all throughout here like literally they're throughout the entire dorm we will find them you know up there on my desk etc basically what I'm getting at is don't become an architecture major <laughs> no I'm kidding I mean in all sense I do love architecture but you know they definitely they're hard it's definitely the third hardest major in the world and I understand why to say the least Anyways, enough about me. We have like a little three cube thing here. We just have cleaning supplies. And then this one's empty. The bottom one there has water. And then we just have, you know, tools, drills. And here's my big like bag of architecture stuff. So I have like drafting board, all that stuff. So basically I have like the drafting board, rulers, pencils, all that stuff for drawing. And then here's my closet area right here is this little half. So I have my monitor box, empty boxes, my old drafting table. Uh, frisbees and like backpacks if I need it, shower stuff, uh, cologne, lotion, multivitamins, medicine, stuff like that. Uh, here's food, you know, the, the essentials, the mac and cheese, the ramen. And then I just have some plastic utensils because uh, I'm too lazy to wash the dishes. And then if you open here, we just have socks and then all my uh, then all my pants basically after that and here's my hamper uh so you know a nice little cozy area as far as closets go and then here's my roommates right next to me i won't go through all his stuff but you can kind of get a gist of the whole thing if i go all the way back out here then if you keep going this way we have a bobcat bottle opener just because it's sick and you know bobcats i mean come on and then obviously i am rooming during covid so Here's all my masks, here's all my roommate's masks. We have a door stop. And then here's the door out, here's the mirror we have. There's me, hello. 
uh, obviously every boys dorm has to have this flag I'm pretty sure it's law uh, so you know we have the Saturdays are for the boys flag then we have you know my shoes and my roommate's shoes all around here as well as you know shoes we just are too lazy to put on that and so I since I decided to bring my own chair to college is here's the chair that the college provided me so that's just kind of where my backpack sits Here's a fan for the summertime. Then here's our little like temperature thermometer thing that really honestly, I'm pretty sure doesn't work, but that's just between you and me. And then with that being said, right to the right of that is actually my desk setup. So here's the chair I brought from home. I highly recommend. I mean, these chairs aren't bad, but like even my roommate has like a mushroom chair over there. Bring a different type of chair, whether you just have guests over or, I mean, let's be honest, I spend a good, six hours a day with online school in this chair so I, I definitely clutch having your own chair we'll move that out of the way um these desks that highlight provides you i don't know about any other dorms here at montana state but they're actually pretty nice desks so like for example there's space below for all like cords and like cord management so i have like my playstation down here my laptop case etc and then each desk actually has like a pull out theme here so like that gives you more room than even my little like side desk has the same pull out theme same with my roommate over there so that's definitely nice for you know i guess just more room to do homework and then i have actually as you guys saw in the beginning clip a kind of a dual monitor setup i have my laptop and then cords plugged in to basically put it onto that monitor too that way i kind of can look back and forth on doing homework really nice for you know architecture and papers etc being able to look back and forth between like the article and typing or the article and drawing whatever etc and then i just have the basics you know covid so i have you know hand sanitizer water bottle airpods my playstation controller actually charges right here and then just some formulas for physics if you guys take physics you know there's your formulas and then it's, it's a little cluttered over here but this is kind of my junk area as far as the top of the desk goes i have you know, Bluetooth speaker, fake plant, uh, Kleenex. I have a book I have to read and then some of my other architecture models I had to mess around with. Here's actually my sketchbook. This is like one of the newest things I bought, but honestly, if you guys are going into architecture, definitely get a sketchbook. It is, you literally will use it every day. Then I just have, you know, calculator wallet, blue light glasses, one of my architecture projects, and then basically textbooks and notebooks for all my classes. And then here is my arts and crafts drawer full of just anything you'd ever need. Tape, colored pencils, glue, paint. I mean, literally everything is shoved in here, a bunch of pencils. And then down here, I just have money and stuff. So it's locked up. Not, not that I don't trust my roommate, but honestly, I just brought that. And so I was like, oh, I'll use it. <laughs> Above my desk, you guys obviously know you have to have some decor in your dorm. So of course, you know, me being the super awesome person I am, have to have both my Star Wars pictures right above there and then just some photos of my family off to the side. And then I have my hats I wear, my lanyard. Same with my roommate, his hats go there, his lanyard goes there. Then he has a Marvel poster. As you guys can tell, we are stone cold killers in the storm. We do not mess around. This thing is full of ladies every day. You can obviously tell by our posters, you know, we mean business. Guys, that was obviously a joke. We're, we're definitely losers, but let's just breeze past that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Um, yes, my hair's super messy. I was wearing a hat earlier today and then I took it off and that's just what happens. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the, the dorm. Uh, like I said, you guys saw most of it in the move-in video, but as for you guys did request this, so I figured I'd show it to you guys. Like I said, this is in Highlight Hall at Montana State University on the fifth floor. And I know most of you guys that are watching this video probably aren't from my channel already. You guys are probably just, you know, thinking about maybe living here or going to school here. So that's why you guys are watching these videos. But if you guys are new, please come check out my channel. I know it's kind of a bag, but if you guys are interested in anything, you know, gaming related or even just like stupid college vlog kind of stuff. I'm trying to get into that obviously with COVID. Not, not, that, not that well that I can do that, but for sure gaming. Please come check out my channel. If not, I totally get it. I don't blame you guys for wanting to check out Montana State University. Um, it's a great college, so shameless plug out of the way. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys have any questions about Montana State, college life, dorm life, anything, etc., drop it down in the comments. I literally respond to every single comment I get. So thank you guys so much for that. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next.